Guys, this is Mike with my real estate dojo, and today's lesson is about the mind shift that you have to have as an entrepreneur to have success. What do I mean by that, okay? Um, many of us think that you need specific skills or specific abilities, or you have to read a specific book, learn how to do specific tricks to have success. And I totally disagree. Uh, I believe in learning, uh, and but to have beginner's success, to have enough success to get a loop back, feed into your mind to help you move forward, okay, to do more success. You don't need to have all the education and everything. What you do need is the mind shift, okay? Um, what, what, do I talk, what am I talking about, the mind shift? Um, the mind shift is, is, is the requirement from the beginners to the medium to the very pros, okay? Your ability to constantly change your mindset to overcome the obstacles or the barrier in front of you that you have to go through as an entrepreneur, as a real estate investor, as any dream chaser, book writer, whatever it is. If you look at my, my life example, um, when I graduated uh, college, I decided to live in my car and not work for the man, right? and not do what all the other people do, which is work in a cubicle. Um, and so what, what that did is, everyone around me was very negative. My friends were negative, they were going watching TV, they were going to sports game, they were doing all this cool stuff. My parents were very negative, my mom and dad were telling me I should get a job, go or become a chiropractor, become a doctor, you know. Um, bankers were telling me, you know, you need money. People called, professors were saying, you need this, you can't do it, business, this and that, all this stuff, right? So what I had to do is I had to shift my mind and change who I was to, to, to a totally different person, okay? I had to change myself totally to a different person. And the way that I did that was I isolated myself from all the old people that I knew, like all the friends that I knew. I cut myself off from them, family, my own parents, my own dad. I actually lived in my car because I, I didn't want to spend my money. Uh, I didn't have any money, but I didn't want to get a job and you know make money to live in a like everybody else, I want to be my own boss, okay, and have my own destiny. So what what I did is um, change my whole mi mindset by um, get rid of all my friends um, and cutting everyone off, even my mom and dad, and going to isolation and living in my car. And then what I did is I changed my mindset by reading positive stuff like you know um, books. Uh, like Rich Dad Poor Dad and The Alchemist and things of that nature that impact my life um, for a positive spin instead of listening to all these people that says you can't do some shit, right? Like my parents, like they didn't know I could become a real estate investor or how to be an entrepreneur. How did they know? They were refugees to America. They have a lot of great, uh, you know, skills and traits that, you know, very passionate and, and, and they're way better than a PhD person. But in this specific idea, they didn't know anything about it, right? And it was my journey, so I couldn't take their advice for it, right? But I could take all the stuff that I learned from them, like never quitting, hard work, um, and apply that into my journey. So I had to cut myself off from my family. I had to live in my car, right? So the mindset, you know, I turned my friends off. I used to watch TV. I turned that shit off. I didn't go to any fun more stuff, like, you know, like, consumption where I just consume and consume and gossip and go places where I, any of that I start doing self-improvement stuff like you know educating myself with books trying new stuff like learning new software programming like PHP MySQL and databases and HTML and you know learning about the search engine optimization and all this stuff right uh, and trying to get new skills and um, totally had to change um, my parents my friends would always say, you don't ever come around this, that, you know, and it was true. I never came around anymore because I had shit to do now. I had my own goals. Um, and let's now move forward and I'm going to show you another mind shift. Okay. Now, let's say I now, you know, had my, after living in my car, I had my businesses, a hundred bucks that turned into three businesses, my moving company, which I own for 14, 15 years. Um, my real estate brokerage firm, which I had a broker, other realtors that were, my parents' age, and if not older, my grandparents' age working for me. I was young buck, like 30, um, and life was good. I have everything, paid cash, um, didn't have any credit card, didn't have any business debt, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm living the life up, um, and 
you know, but I still wasn't happy. I was, I had a hundred thousand dollar car, which I still have, you know, some of you guys want to know what it was. It's a SL 550, 2011, bought, bought it, you know, uh, it was my dream car as a high school kid and junior high, I always knew I was going to have an SL 550. So I had my, my dream motorcycle and, you know, all kinds of toys and I realized I really wasn't happy and, you know, working at a place where I just made money and, you know, um, wasn't all that. So what does that have to do with the mind shift? Because, uh, if you look at my previous videos, like I, I was in a position of great prosperity for a refugee to America that his parents are illiterate. You know, I, did, I had a goal to be a millionaire and I was dead before 30. You know, I had rental houses at 30 or right before 30. Um, and so, you know, I, I had everything that I wanted my goals were. You know, if I wanted to have a Royce Royce, that wasn't my goal. If I, would, I didn't want to have Bentleys and, you know, those those were not my goals, right? I, but whatever my goals were, I achieved it. Um, and so the, I was able to give a lot to a lot of people, right? And I was giving you guys free information, which I still do, and I value that because uh, it makes me feel good. Um, but give a lot of stuff to my family members, to strangers, you know, people that hit me up from coaching, and I would go bail them out, put them in hotels, give them my personal computers, give them my iPads, you know, things that cost money and do a lot of free stuff. Um, and some of it was appreciated and some of it wasn't appreciated, right? Um, and so, but once I decided that I wasn't happy with this, all the stuff that I got sold on, which is like, you know, material things, like if, if you go have this success and you own this type of car, you live in this type of things, or you have growth, your business grows so much and you do millions and, you know, and, and, and you know, I, I wasn't happy. So I decided to give all that stuff away, but then my mind shift changed. If, if you guys follow me on Facebook, I went from hearing people's sad stories and trying to bail them out and helping them and taking them to them hotels and shit like that to telling people to go fuck themselves, telling them, Hey man, fuck your sad stories, dude. You know, we take lax and, and turn at, at, we take lax and turn to, Termed them to advantages at the dojo, right? So because my mind shifts changed. You know, I went from having three businesses, rental properties, um, to going homeless for six months, right? And if you look at my Facebook, you can see I went from like, you know, a lot of giving, which I still am giving. You know, I'm always that's the part of me where to giving and listening to people's sad stories and coming bailing out to not tell them to go fuck themselves, fuck them sad stories, get off your ass and do something about it. And the reason is because my situation changed, right? Like I don't have an income. Like I decided to go homeless and then, you know, I, I, I just have a baby coming and so I had to generate income, you know? So if you look at my mind ship, if you look at my Facebook, you know, I went from like all giving, giving people everything I had for free to telling people go fuck themselves you know what I'm saying like and a lot of people didn't like it right and they're like hey Mike change absolutely Mike had to change my mind shift had to change same thing when I went to live in my car my mind shift had to change man I went from like living college and thinking everything's gonna be great to I graduated and being depressed and not, not having a job you know to figuring out what I'm gonna do with my life and you know yeah man you know like my mind shit had to change I couldn't hang out with the same people anymore and didn't want to hang out with the fuckers that like gossip I wanted to do something with my life and which was be my goals what I dreamed about in sixth grade seventh grade you know young well, you know what I mean and so the point of the story is if you want to be entrepreneur you want to have success if you if you have a job okay or if you have a business and you want to take the next level, please understand that you have to have a mind shift change, dude. And it's going to have to be pretty dramatic depending on what your goals are. Like for me, I had to fucking didn't have a home. I was living out of my car or traveling America uh, to, to having a baby and I had no income and I had to figure out something way to, somehow to make money, right? So I couldn't be like listening to people's sad stories when I had my own fucking reality I got to fix, right? So it's like, man, I can't listen to your sad story, but I have a hundred over 100 500 videos 300 videos that teaches you how to make money and at the same time i actually let go of my little fucking little empire and, and trying to show you how to guys to make money that it works so just do what i'm doing you know what i mean stop reaching out to me and crying and shit because you know i'm in the same situation you are if not worse so dude i didn't even have a home you know a couple of months ago so uh showering like you know once every two days or three days so 
to hear people's sad stories didn't make any sense anymore for me. So my mind shifts change, and some people that like me are friends. I kick my family off again. The friends that just use me, like cousins or people that I helped out with their businesses and give them ideas, and you know, and they never ever support me besides just sucking from me and just always using me. Just tell them to go fuck themselves. Customers that were like that, tell them to go fuck themselves. Um, don't need that shit. Um, and you know, and now I'm having the most, you know amazing life ever dude I'm getting to travel a lot you can see the shit I'm a minimalist I don't need stuff stuff's not gonna make me happy I gotta be happy now myself and that's what I recommend for you because you know I bought into the sales pitch of owning stuff and I went there if you want to own stuff I'm not here to judge you go ahead this is America get all the shit you want you know what I'm saying but don't be disappointed don't say nobody told you at the end of the rainbow you don't you're not happy and you don't have all this stuff so stuff is cool you know I like nice stuff but I'm a minimalist I don't need stuff um, anymore I, I realize this freedom is where I want to be um, financially emotionally um, in all aspects dude okay um, not have a job not have people to answer to not have you know stupid customers not have stupid employees not have to deal with like fucking stupid renters you know there's a lot of ways to make money in America you know if you're not happy with making money one way there's not a problem the thing is you got to change your mind shift dude you got to shift your mind and if you have a job all you got to do is shift your mind if you want to be an entrepreneur if you're an entrepreneur you just got to shift your mind if you go to the next level okay if you want if you're making 10,000 you want to make a hundred you got to sh shift your mind dude that's all this is gonna require and remember you got to kick people out dude you got to do dramatic sh things that it's not exactly the same thing as you used to do before and people are not gonna like it but hey you're not living a life for, for them you're living your soul's purpose dude you're trying to do your dream so if you want to do your dream you have to change and you can't be scared to change I just dived in into a black pit not knowing anything not having an income not having a job not looking for anything I have businesses I have things shit paying me money not even going to work dude making money having rental properties helping people out you know um, with my own money to strangers to homeless people to friends and family to you know cutting it all off and going up nothing and knowing that hey I'm gonna be okay but I have to shift my mind from being you know a very giving person to still a very giving person but more uh, aggressive because I have to make it out here in the world and that's the way you got to be and that's sometimes it's kicking people that you like off off your team because they don't want you to be aggressive they don't want you to be hungry and that's one of the reasons you know um, if you want to get full you got to empty up your cup dude because you know sometimes when we're full we can't go out there and chase our dreams we're just you know um, we're, we're unhappy but we're okay we're just settling you know the best thing is to go empty and that's what I did with my life dude I, you know I had everything but I still wasn't happy instead of just going a little bit I just went empty give it all up homeless people uh, just went empty dude you know and lived homeless six months and you know now I think uh, I'm not saying oh I'm Buddha or anything like that but uh, I'm having a lot more fun happiness and joy uh, doing what I love uh, helping people, um, not dealing with bitchy people that are not believers, people that, when I say bitchy, but people that I can't help out, man. If I can't help you out, I'm not going to take your fucking money. If, if I think, you know, we can't get along, I'm not going to fucking take your money. Um, and shit like that. Before I had a moving company, I'd take everybody's money, dude. If you wanted to move, you're a bitchy customer, I took your money. You're a good customer, I took your money. I took everybody. And I hated the business. This time, it's all about like love. If I think I can help you, I do it. Um, you gotta pay me for it. Uh, just like you have a job or you have an income, you like to get paid for it. Uh, I gotta pay my bills, um, but I'm gonna change your life. If you pay me, I'm gonna change your life. If you don't pay me, dude, that's why I do these free videos. To me, I'm gonna win regardless, with you or without you, and you need to have the same exact mindset, dude. I know that I'm adding value to your life. If you buy from me, I, I really, really appreciate the support, dude. If you don't buy from me, don't worry, dude. The, the way I'm changing your life, the vibration you're putting out there is coming right back to me, dude. Um, so I'm not sweating it. So it's very important to understand that you have to shift your mind if you want to be an entrepreneur. Um, doesn't matter if you're a real estate investor, you want to be a realtor, 
book art, artist, whatever, dude. You gotta shift your mind, and people are not gonna appreciate your parents, are not gonna appreciate your friends, are not gonna appreciate your street. Most people are not gonna appreciate that, but you know what? If you really wanna do your fucking goals life, you gotta chase your fucking dreams. You gotta shift your mind. And sometimes you gotta be aggressive. Look at my Facebook account. I'm taking the head of a lion off, dude. Uh, and the truth is, not that I think I'm better than anybody, but I just know what I've came up with, dude. I could go against any of these top guys, dude, and we could go into any other country with a hundred bucks, not knowing the language, and I'm gonna make more money than them. Even, I don't give a fuck if it's my heroes, okay? So, um, and the reason is because I came from a different country without speaking the language, not knowing any connections. Uh, I started all my businesses without any money, without any credit, without any support. Um, and so I it's no big deal to me. I've done it so many fucking times dude like a street fighter Okay, um, I can get into the streets and make it happen, dude I don't need anything. I just, I'm showing you guys. I just had my little fucking empire. Let it all go Six months seven months homeless dude. Okay showering two three days who does that dude and then come back in 19 days make 12,970 bucks who the fuck do you know does that you can't I can't even spell or read dude, right? My first book, we sold like so many in like six, six weeks. Second book, big growth. So um, I'm not bragging. I'm just saying, guys, if you shift your mind, you're gonna have success. Many people are not gonna want you to shift your mind, but fuck it. Go out there and hustle and bustle. If you have any um, questions, please leave a comment. Uh, please subscribe. Tell your friends and family about me, and don't take no for an answer. See you, gang.